So we're here at the uh, 24th annual uh, 75 Chrome Shop truck show here in Wildwood. And I tell you what, we got a lot of, a lot of trucks here and everything else, but you know, somebody uh, you know, stopped me and said that I needed to come by and, and speak to you. you know, uh, so introduce yourself and give me the, the quick rundown on, on who you are and what you do. Uh, my name's Chase Rogers. I'm the owner of Rogers Landworks. We're based out of Bunnell, Florida, just north of Daytona Beach. Uh, land clearing, grading, site development, trucking. We basically cover all aspects of that. Uh, I brought with me a 2009 Peterbilt 388 with a 2006 Fontaine 55 ton low boy and then uh, a brand new Volvo EC235 uh, excavator. All right, well this setup looks really good. Uh, when you guys were here a couple days ago, you guys were getting it clean and everything. And I tell you what, uh, green on white, it looks really nice. So, uh, you know, let's start with that. Why, why green on white? I don't know, when I was, you know, six years ago, I, I was in high school and uh, I'm 24 years old. Six years ago, I graduated high school, was cutting grass and doing odd jobs and uh, was gonna go be a firefighter and my little side business took off and was doing landscaping and one thing led to another and I just always liked the color green. I don't know why and it kind of stuck and okay. just every truck I ever got we did green green things to it and it just went from there. It okay. went with the environment and earth and what we do with trees and you know, we got a recycling center where we grind everything up we bring in and reuse it, make topsoil, make mulch. So mm -hmm. kind of went with a whole environmental thing and green thing. All right, that works. And that's why we stuck with green. That works. Well, it certainly looks good. Tell us how you started out. So basically, I, I just always enjoyed working through middle school and high school and uh, saved up enough money to buy a 97 mile F-250 that I hauled around a push mower and a trailer and and at that time scrap metal prices was high i was scrapping metal every day and just kept saving money to to buy a trailer and then buy another trailer and word of mouth got around and i was doing some landscape work and it just took off from there and, and in six years i've grown it to you know i've got almost 50 guys on payroll and pushing 30 trucks from a fleet of f-450s to dump trucks roll-off trucks i got uh 12 semi tractors now with three globe dump trailers and walking floor trailers east genesis walking floor trailer we got a couple low boys so we're log trailers and uh i just i've gotten this way just from putting every penny back into this company okay you know this company is my whole heart and everything that goes along with it and it's my passion i love trucks and trailers and equipment yeah and this is my toy i don't have a motorcycle i don't have a rod this this is my toy. Yeah, oh, that, that's cool. So what, how old were you when you started? This? So I was 17 years, 16, 17 years old, um, junior, senior in high school, okay. when I really made it a company, a landscaping company at that time. Okay. Um, and just took off from there. I graduated high school and I was seven days a week yeah for about four years okay there we go there's a secret sauce seven days a week you if you, you anyone you know can do anything mm -hmm. you just got to put your mind to it you put your mind to it doesn't matter what anybody says what anybody tells you you, you know mind over matter if you don't mind it don't matter there so. you go that's great um so that's great that's very inspirational you know i run into a lot of people that are you know starting out or they want to get somewhere yep and to have what you have within six years, uh, putting your mind to it. Is there any other thing that you can say to someone else that uh, is trying to achieve something? You know, the biggest thing to me in, in the way that I grew so fast and we grew as a company, especially in this day and age where labor is hard to find and, and equipment is hard to find, you've got to take care of your people because you know you can't grow as a company if you don't have good people backing you up so you've got to pay them right you've got to give them more than the other guy will give them mm -hmm. and you've got to treat them like family and I've got a fantastic group of guys I couldn't be where I am today without all my guys backing me up so you've got to without good help and good employees you, you're pretty much useless uh, that is a, that's a good point so that's that's my recommendation is you know, if you want to get involved in any kind of company you, and you want to be more than just an owner operator You've got to take care of your people. That's awesome. And the second thing behind that is take care of your equipment. Yep. Well, there you go. That uh, there you heard it there, folks. Uh, you know, 
a way to do it, a way to get somewhere. And uh, what, how old are you currently right now? You're I'm 24. 24. All right. Well, let's take a look at what you put together here, truck-wise. Let's start with, uh, you know, a lot of great-looking parts and custom parts on this truck. So let's start with the bumper going up uh, to the grill and working our way back. Yeah, so I bought this truck out of Texas. It was in the oil field. It was bare bones as could get. But uh, we've slowly been working on it and did a... 20 inch drop bumper it's got roadworks custom grill mm -hmm. whose bumper um it's a i believe a valley chrome bumper okay um we got watermelons all around the truck and the breathers the cab lights they're all dual revolution they all run to, to green every light on the truck is green okay uh at night all right uh i got four and a quarter floats on it okay uh the paint's original okay Whose visor up there? Uh, that's a 12-gauge uh, visor, and then custom 12-gauge uh, drop panels with the lights in them. Uh, it's a 388, so it's a short hood, so it's hard to get those panels. They custom made those panels. Nice. It's 12-gauge boxes. Whose stacks? Uh, Dynaflex stacks. Okay. Or seven-inch. Very nice. Nice deck plate. A, a nice deck plate addition there. Yep. We made that for you. Yep. Thank you. Um, and we got a, uh, I forget to make it a headache crack, but we kind of done it up with the green stripe and some, some add-ons and uh, okay. that's a uh, sound off signal light bar. It's tri-color, so it'll also strobe green with a different function Very at cool. night for the show. Very cool. Uh, now, uh, deck plate, who made that for you? Uh, that's a um, United Pacific, I believe, deck okay. plate. Nice. Um, all the parts on the truck for 90% of the parts was bought here at 75 Chrome Shop. Cool. And but whose fenders? Uh, these are Hodge built, the low rider, double hump fenders. Nice. And then we got a 12 gauge uh, T bar on the back. Okay. Tell us about this trailer that you have here. Uh, it's a 2006 Fontaine, uh, 55 ton. Uh, we completely redid it from, from basically frame off, sandblasted. It's all new deck, paint. Uh, ran a bunch of new lights down the side. All the wiring's new, new lights. All the lights on the trailer, dual revolution as, wo as well. Very cool. Looks like you got uh, obviously new wood here, new yeah. everything on this, on this thing. Yeah, so, we, we burned, uh, we took a torch and burned the emblem in there. Something a little bit different. So what's the plans for this trailer after you put all this work into it? Uh, you know, I've got a couple other trailers that we move most of our equipment on day to day, but some of our bigger pieces, like we got a Peterson grinder and we got a screener, we got a 300 excavator. So some of our bigger pieces, we'll use this, this trailer to haul it, but Okay. We'll try and keep it as, as nice a shape as possible. Okay. Because it's, it's construction. It's going to get scratched up. Sure. Let's see what's going on back here. And this is a brand new excavator from Volvo. It ain't, we had it custom painted to our green to match. How many hours on it? 12 hours on it. Very nice. And uh, what are you guys going to do with it? Uh, that'll go out in the field to one of our land clearing crews. And it's going to, it'll get scratched up to clearing land. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we went with the two color theme on the trailers. Some of the trailer parts and the outriggers and the mm -hmm. center plate have all been painted green. Very nice. Well, you put it together good, man. You know, I appreciate it. The guys in the, in the industry of uh, heavy haul, they know what it's like to keep a uh, oh, you know, yeah. truck and trailer it's, looking it's, good. Especially in our yard and we're running out of pits and dirt roads. So it's, it's extremely hard to keep things nice. Mm -hmm. So out of all the things that you've done so far in, uh, in your career, uh, what are some of the things that you really enjoy that, that, you're, that you're proud of? I, I enjoy, you know, because my company, we do, you know, we do a lot of operating and heavy equipment, but we got a lot of trucks. We kind of got it split up and, and I like to run machines, but my passion is I like to drive and I like to drive nice trucks. And that, that's my passion. I enjoy being able to have nice equipment, nice trucks, and not only for me to drive, but, but my guys to drive around in. 
Mm -hmm. And that's what we're working on is getting all of our fleet updated and, and looking, you know, not maybe not as nice as this with the low fenders and the bumpers and stuff that'll get torn up, but to you know have a matching fleet and all nice equipment and everyone, you know, trying to, we take pride in our rides, so we got to that's that's what we're looking for. Yeah. But that's what I, I enjoy driving and and you know, from a trucking aspect I want as many trucks as I can on the road. Mm -hmm. And that's that's what I enjoy most is seeing my trucks going up and down the road and all looking good and looking clean and and uh, matching. That's that's what makes me happy. Yeah. And same with the equipment looking nice and looking good. Well that's great. Well you I, I can't say that you're off to a good start because you're several years in, but I gotta say it looks great and uh, no, shows I, off well I here. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Very cool. Thank you. Hey well thanks uh, for taking a minute to talk to us here. Well, and, we appreciate uh, it. We'll see you soon. Thank you.